But there is a certain amount of work, preparation work you, you do before you comb. Like you say, you know, if you if you put it through the, the drum carder, then it makes it's gonna make your life much easier. Yes. Yeah. Well you've got to process it no matter what you do. No. Even if you spin it straight from the lock, you've still got to tease it open. There's a question of stages, doing everything in stages. Yep. That's... Okay, okay, so now I've processed it twice through the combs. So if we just the only way I can tell how much the difference is between this amount of fibre and this is to weigh it afterwards once I've made the bird's nest. Okay, so now I'm going to diz off, put these into bird's nests, ready to spin later. I use the same diz on both fibres and then we'll get an idea of how much length we'll have at the end of this top that I'm producing. So this is top. The fibres are all straight. All the long fibres are together. The short fibres come off last. But these at the moment are all the very long ones. This is an easy process too. Push forward till the fibres lock. You pinch at the behind and you pull both back. Push, pinch, pull. Push, pinch, pull. This is just a plastic diz made out of a milk jug bottle. Cut from one of the corners. Heated up a needle with a candle and burnt a hole. Easy to do. Make any size hole you want. Use knitting needles. Heat a knitting needle, a metal knitting needle. Make a bigger hole. See so, you now the fibres are much shorter that are on the cones now. And they started off very long, and now you're into the short. Now I'm into the short fibres. So if you if you uh, if you're going to spin that, and you want to get an even even uh, length just fiber even through your yarn, then what you would have to do is block the fiber. No, if I want even distribution, long fibres to short fibres throughout my spun yarn, then I would plank. The okay. Fibers. Oh, that's the word, planking. The planking. I like to keep all the same size fibres together, I don't plank myself. So here it is, this is all it is on the floor. i get this up the way you can see the red. So now the last piece that came off of the combs, I'm going to wrap around my hand and make a little bird's nest. the first piece that came off into the centre and that's my bird's nest. That's from the fine. That's from, yes. So if we take these fibres off too. See I'm still pulling out. But twice through the card, through the combs was fine. Didn't need any more than that for this particular fibre. Okay. And the more you comb the more the vegetation will drop out. That's right. Every time you process your fibre vegetation and undesirables drop out. So as you're spinning, particles will fall out. As you're drum carding, they fall out. As you're combing, they fall out. But the combs actually clean the fibre much better than carding. Because it holds all the debris that you don't want, all the bits and pieces, actually behind the combs here. take out about 95% of the undesirables from your fiber. It won't get 100% but 95 is better than having them all left in which drum carding leaves in. And then you can remove you can remove what's left as you're spinning. As you're spinning, yep. The neps and noils and anything that you've got in there tends to 
stay to the outside of your single, which you can just pick off as you go. It's windy today. Okay, that's probably enough. We'll wrap up the bird's nest. Last end into the centre. Now these are the two. You can see this one is which we came off of the super fine is smaller than the what the fibre that came off the fine combs. So Susan, you, you weighed the you weighed the fibre that we just processed? I did. And what I took off of the super fine weighs 60 grams and off the fine combs is 90 grams. So you can process a third more Romney on the fine than you can on the super fine. Okay, in about the same time as well, I guess. Took about the same time, yep. And it's done just as good a job on one as it has on the other. So I can't tell the difference if I was to pull it apart.